Hello and welcome back to CryptoSchnack. My name is Marian and I'm your host again today. And in the background, as always, uh, credit goes to Jeff Roberts and his content of the drone footage. And we will dive into some amazing news today, guys. And um, if you like my content, do consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me a lot. And let's dive into that. First of all, for all those who are invested into Tesla stock, we just hit $555 and we are still going upwards. And this means we are over a limit of um, market cap of $500 billion. So this is amazing. That's amazing news. Whatever you want to do, I'm not a financial advisor. If you want to invest more into um, Tesla, um, that is your decision. Um, but um, as I mentioned before, my personal opinion was it was a right move to invest when it was down there at the 450, $409 mark. So now next news guys, and it's getting better and better. The Tesla Semi is on track to have a range of around 621 miles. This is amazing. I mean, the Tesla Semi is not even in production yet, and we are still waiting for the um, Giga Austin, which we see in the background to be finished. So the Tesla Semi can be produced but the data, the um, range uh, numbers, the performance, all that in um, already in practice working for Tesla is getting better and better. And um, this is what Elon Musk has promised once when they were announcing the Tesla Semi that we can consider that the product will be much better as at the point when they presented the product. The same could um, be argued for the Cybertruck which has not been tested yet. At least we don't know about it. But I believe that the um, performance stats for the Cybertruck will be as well better than actually already announced. And um, furthermore, um, there will be in the near future or more far away future, uh, definitely a point when we see a smaller version of an electric car from Tesla. Um, one of the reasons is he might have, Elon Musk might have realized that in Germany or in general in European countries, compared to the United States, um, parking spots are much smaller. Um, they are not so spacious as we might know that from the States. And um, in Germany, especially when you go to a city like Berlin or you take Munich or Hamburg or Frankfurt or whatsoever, it is really comfortable to have a car that fits into the streets in tiny um, parking spots. And um, this is something um, he um, actually realized when he went to Berlin. And in this case, um, I think he realized it might be really interesting for the European market, especially to do something like this because the cities in Europe are so um, yeah, so tight. Um, it is really hard to find a parking spot with a bigger car like a um, Tesla Model S or Model X, not even talking about that one. So um, a smaller car is definitely something that European customers will really um, enjoy and like um, because we see a lot of small cars in Europe, um, not as big cars as in the United States or maybe limousines in China. Um, so in this case, um, I believe this would be a perfect uh, future product for the European um, continent. Again, next news, guys, it's getting better and better. I mean, it's a great day today to be a Tesla um, enthusiast and um, investor. Um, they announced that they will make um, in Europe the biggest, biggest battery factory in the world. It will have a total capacity of 100 later on to 250 gigawatt. So guys, this is straight forward, straight, straight forward. Something people might not see in the first point, uh, first second when they hear this news, but this is straight forward fighting on any kind of area which has to do with batteries. If they are really producing, mass producing this kind of battery 
um, numbers in Europe, it means that on the entire European continent, they will be trying to sell power wars. They will do any kind of mega pack contracts. They will do the um, Model Y, Model 3, future car products, of course. So they will compete on any kind of Tesla energy products and as well for the um, for the car business. This is investing into competing in Europe with all the car companies stationed over there. So guys, this is great, great news. So much to happen here in the future in Europe. And I think that the um, car companies over there like VW, etc., they really have to put on warm clothes because it's going to get a hard competition over there. Guys, um, I hope you enjoyed my news. If you like my a bit shorter video today, I wish you all a wonderful evening.